GFX export is a command line utility that processes Swift files into a format that is optimized for streamlined loading. During pre-processing, resources are stripped out and extracted into separate files. Textures can be compressed into a more efficient format. Once stripped and converted, the flash files will have the GFX extension and at that point are only compatible with Scaleforms Player. The GFX files will then rely on the external data files, which can be managed by your application's resource system. Scaleform Exporter is a front-end user interface that complements the command line tool. It's intended for testing export options and configurations, as well as for previewing exported assets such as texture files. Let's have a look at how it works. The first thing you'll want to do is to add your files to the exporter. This can be done by either adding individual files or by adding entire directories. We'll use the Starforce Down example. Now that we've added files to the resources, let's create a configuration. The easiest way is to right-click in the Configuration Setup window and choose Create New Configuration. In the Configuration Setup, we can specify all of the options we'd normally enter into the command line. We can select the destination directory for all of our output. In this case, I've created a folder called Exported inside of my project. We can even give each file a resource prefix. We can choose to generate subdirectories for each file. The files can be compressed. We can also force upper or lower case name conversion, disregard export names, and we can choose to only run the export for newly created SWIFTs. We can also either leave target platform blank to specify PC, or we can enable it and choose Android or Apple iOS. For images, we can specify the output format we'd like to use, including TGA, DXT, PBR, Ericsson, or DDS, TGA, and PBR. We can also specify an external images directory in case we'd like to replace our images. We can also choose to strip the images from the flash file without creating new images. We can also share images in the flash file that are duplicated. As well, we can replace images in the flash file with those found in the external images directory. And finally, we can rescale our images. Images can be saved out as separate images or they can be packed into texture sheets. And we can specify the size of our texture sheets as well as the texture resize mode. Finally, if we're exporting to DXT, we can specify the options for that format here. And we can specify PBR compression mode. We can also export all text field data, as well as sounds, choosing the format that they are exported to. Now that we have our configuration set, make sure to select it for your resources and then we can run our export. Once we've run the export, you should see the output in the output log. You can click on images to see a preview of them. If we open our directory and go into the exported folder, you'll see that we have submenus for each flash file. Inside the submenu, you'll find the resources that we created, all prefixed by our prefix. As well, we should find a GFX file. This is the replacement for the SWF file. We can save our projects by choosing File, Save Project As. The Scaleform Exporter is fully customizable. You can drag windows to any position you prefer. As well as resizing those windows. If you'd like to reset the layout, simply choose Window Reset UI Layout. For more helpful information and tips on how to use the exporter, check out the documentation in the Getting Started Guide under Documentation, Exporter Reference Guide, as well 
as well as GFX Export Reference Guide. Thanks for watching.